Rachel S. Lee here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an AI chatbot with Go High Level, how you can use this for live chat, how you can use it for SMS, social media. So let's dive in. As you can see here on this site, there is this live chat widget and I can be chatting with it. Can you help me? and this will automatically respond, although you can also have a real person here. But the point of this all is AI chatbot. So start by going in your sub account and go high level and go to settings and then go to conversation AI and you can just turn it on. It'll be on off, you can turn it on. Also, there may be something that says activate this at the agency level so you can turn it on for the sub account. So on mine, I just have it on live chat. I can also turn it on for social media, but I just don't want it on for social media because if you use this conversation AI function in the sub account, as of right now, you can only have one bot per sub account. So what I have people messaging me in live chat on the live chat widget may be different than what I wanna be having it automatically be saying in Instagram and Facebook or SMS. So for instance, when I first tried this, I had it on for live chat and SMS, but then I had regular sequences and automations going out in high level sending texts, and then when someone would respond, now the bot would take over and it was starting to book appointments for me, but I didn't want it to book appointments with those people necessarily. So I'm just gonna use it for live chat, but you can also have it on for SMS. Just know that it might not fully make sense. So if you do wanna have multiple chat bots going in a sub account, you would actually build out the conversation AI on the workflow level. I'm just not gonna go over that in this video. We're just gonna do the built-in one. So I'm gonna have it on live chat. It's automatically gonna put the business name in there. I just want it to respond in one second. It's gonna start at like two minutes. Change it to one second. I just keep it at 10 here, two hours here. Then, okay, bot trial is where you can play around with it, but we're gonna do that last. Bot training is where you can give it your website link. So let's say, I mean, this is the website that I have up right now. I have, um, I got a snapshot which is a template of this website, this chatbot agency site. So I could take this and paste it in and click get data and it's gonna scrape the information on the page to learn. So there's some stuff it can learn on here. But also I uploaded a list of FAQs. You can go into ChatGPT, ask it to create FAQs, questions and answers for whatever type of business you have. And then you could just add on more FAQs, put it on a Google Doc, make the Google Doc uh, shareable to anyone can view, and then paste it. And it will also scrape that Google Doc and learn the FAQs so you don't have to add FAQs one by one right here. You can add FAQs one by one right here, or when you're testing the bot, in the bot trial, you can upvote responses and downvote responses and then edit them but I really like the method of putting a list of FAQs and information on a Google Doc and then having the tool scrape it right here. Okay, and then configure intents. You can have it on to just be a Q&A live chat, but then a lot of people want it to be an appointment booking AI live chat. So you can enable this and select the calendar. The cool thing about this snapshot that I got is it came with these calendars. You would send them to the sales calendar. If you want this snapshot that I'm talking about, I'll show you where it is. There's a whole free course also in the university section in high level. So I'll show you where that is and where I grabbed the snapshot. If you leave it like this unchecked, it's gonna say does 10 o'clock work or 11 o'clock work for an appointment once it gets to the point where it asks what time do you wanna book an appointment? It'll start giving times or you can select this and instead of the bot giving times, it'll just send the calendar link. So that's that. You can edit the prompt here, and there's some interesting things in here. If you click edit prompt, they have a few different templates in here. I'm just gonna leave it on this basic one right here that's already created. And then you can ask some pre-qualifying questions in here. So this is a couple questions that the bot is gonna ask the user 
before it even invites them to book a call or sends them the calendar link, it's going to ask these two pre-qualifying questions first. It's good to add, add a couple of pre-qualifying questions to keep the, like they call it, conversation flowing. All right, that's it. So all I did was paste my website link. And I just did this. All I had before was the Google Doc link. And then I put a couple of pre-qualifying questions in here. I just made sure I turned it on, put it on live chat, changed it to one second, and now we can test it. And when you're testing it, make sure if it's on appointment, you want it to do appointment booking, put it there. So, hi, can you help me? Of course, what kind of marketing solution are you looking for? This chatbot is trained on chatbots. So like, um, saving time on responding to customers. Got it. What are you hoping an AI chatbot can accomplish your business, for your business? Well, um, you know, saving money. Understood. How are you currently getting leads and sales for your business? Google ads. Great. Would you be interested in scheduling a call with our team to discuss how AI chatbot can save you time and money? Yes. Now, these are kind of short answers. It's not really saying much to what I said. You can edit the prompt to acknowledge what the person said even more. And then it's just sending the link to book the calendar appointment. So to put that widget on the site, you're gonna get out of here and you're gonna go to sites, chat widget, and there's some configuring you'll wanna do in this chat bubble here. You could change out the photo, I didn't. You wanna put it on live chat, not SMS, because SMS or emails just where they can leave a message for you and you get back to them. You wanna put it on live chat. The window, you can just leave it how it is. You can turn off HIPAA if, if you want. And there was another thing I turned off on here. Like I don't even have email field. This, I turned off show live chat message because that's gonna say, give us a minute to assign the best person to help you out. That's good if you have people running a live chat, but since it's an AI chatbot, we don't need a minute to assign someone. So I just turn that off and just leave the rest of these settings how they are default. And you can click get code and then go paste it on any type of website, Squarespace website, Wix website, your client's websites. If they have WordPress, you can get the WordPress plugin for it. But if their site is on high level, there's this new feature, like we can copy the code and go put it in the website, in the settings and paste the body right here. But we don't even need to do that now because there's chat widget enabled. So just enable it. Enable it here. You can do that on the website or if you're, you built the website out on a funnel or you want to put a live chat widget on your funnel, you can also just go to settings and turn it on here. But the thing is, it's going to get enabled for all pages on the website or all pages on the funnel. If you only want the chat widget to be on one page, don't put it in the body tracking code here. You would actually open up, you can open up the page and go put it in the coding area on here. You can go put it in the custom coding here. But most people are happy to have that live chat widget on all pages for their websites so people can ask questions and then the bot can answer those questions and you can start learning what people's FAQs are. If you want the conversation AI to actually work for SMS, then you just need to make sure that you set up, go to phone numbers and set up, get a phone number, apply for A2P. And I have a different video on how to get approved for A2P that I'll link below. I'm gonna show you where to find that snapshot in more in-depth chatbot training. So just go to your agency view, go to university, and then it's this five day AI challenge. Open it up. You can go through these videos. They're really short and good, but to get the snapshot, it says install the AI five day snapshot. You could just pull in the snapshot. It shows you how, and then you'll have access to that same website that I showed with the multi-page website so you can resell these chatbots and those FAQs that you can load up and train the chatbot. And this is really cool because it has training on, like it shows everything, how you can make money with reselling AI chatbots, setting up your high level account, your sub account, doing the phone integration, the domain setup, the snapshot, phone number, custom values, setting up the calendar, integrating Stripe so you can take payments, so you can resell these 
chatbots, uh, how to configure the website, workflows, set up the bot, even though I just showed you how to set up the bot, it's really so easy. Then you can focus on this part, which is sales and prospecting, how to actually get clients and customers to sell these chatbot services to and onboarding fulfillment and retention and ascension. That's selling them on even more features of high level because the AI chatbot is such a great entry level feature to get people using high level on your white labeled high level or as an affiliate. However, it's a great offer, but then there's so much other cool stuff that high level can do for businesses and you can make money from doing that stuff for your own business or for other people's businesses. So to get access into the university, you have to be on a go high level trial or a go high level user. I'm going to put an affiliate link down below in the description below. It's my affiliate link. You can get a free trial and then you'll get access to the software I showed you, the university and the snapshot in there. Also, when you start a trial, you get a free kickoff call with the go high level team. So they'll help you set up stuff in your account. And then once your trial is over and you become a paying customer and you can just be start on the $97 a month plan, you get another implementation call with the go high level team where they'll also help you set this up. So you guys have nothing to lose. You can make so much money with this. Again, my links below and links to other videos. Be sure to like this video. Let me know in the comments if you learned something new, subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos.